This program is sponsored by the Portland Saturday Market. Well, I know how much I love Portland Saturday Market. Catherine, I think you might actually have me beat. You actually moved to Portland after visiting the Portland Saturday Market. Yes, I did. Can you tell me about this love story between you and the Saturday Market? Sure, sure. I love it. I was living in the San Francisco area working as an art director and making my jewelry as a hobby. And I came to visit some family who lived here and they took me to the Saturday Market and I was convinced my jewelry was better than anything I saw. So I literally went back to San Francisco and quit my job and moved here. And it's been working out for you. 26 years later, you are still with the Saturday Market. Yes, I am. Now I want to talk really quickly about the name of your jewelry, Beggar's Tomb. People will either get it instantly or they'll need some explanation. Yeah, it's the name of a silver mine and the lyrics of a song. And the song is Uncle John's Band by the Grateful Dead. And if you know the song, it's a lot of fun to sing. Can okay. you tell me what, what defines Beggar's Tomb jewelry? I mix the metals. I use sterling silver, gold, brass, copper, and steel. And I don't really use stones, I don't do any stone setting, but I think the mixture of the metals, they set each other off, they show each other off, they, all the metals can be manipulated, brushing, shining, oxidizing, so I have a limited palette, but I really think it pushes my creativity. And you have these collections, coast and forest and garden, and I do feel like that really speaks to the Pacific Northwest yes, person. Yeah, who doesn't have a garden that they just love, or at least a little flower pot, maybe on a windowsill. But, and then we all love going to the beach, you know, summer or winter, and we're surrounded by our forests. Yeah, you get a little bit of nostalgia with each piece of jewelry you, that you make. Mm -hmm. What goes into making a piece of Beggar's Tomb jewelry? Well, first I have to be inspired and usually I'm drawn to the same seashell or seed pod or flower over and over again. I'll pick it up and stick it in my pocket or I'll take a picture of it and I'll take another picture and I'll take another picture and when that happens, I, I try to translate it into metal. And it's all done by hand? It is, absolutely. I build every single thing with sheet metal and wire. I don't do any casting, I don't do any farming out. I make it all myself. Labor of love. Mm -hmm. isn't I really it? do love it. I love the whole process. I really do. And I know to be with the Saturday Market for 26 years, you do have to love it. Mm -hmm. what, what is it about the market? Oh, it's it's such a great community of people. We're all there for each other. We really are. It's competitive because we're all in business for ourselves, but we inspire each other. We help each other. We show up every Saturday. We leave every Sunday, and we come back again. It's it's really great. What do you love most about what you do? Working. With the metal is really fabulous, and I love designing and creating, but it's really the interaction with the people. I mean, I could sit in a studio and just sell on Etsy and never go to Saturday Market, but I like working, you know, meeting the people, meeting my customer, seeing the joy in their face. Yeah. Well, you heard Catherine, the best part of her job is seeing the joy in your faces, and of course, the joy comes from your beautiful jewelry. You know where to find it, Portland Saturday Market. For more information about the Portland Saturday Market, visit them on the web at portlandsaturdaymarket.com.